Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 76 for learning memory system in Django with React JS. In our previous video, we have assigned the, I mean, teacher can assign the quiz to the uh, course, right? Now, uh, this is our uh, student dashboard, right? So, if the student is uh, enrolled in that course in which uh, teacher has been assigned the quiz, then uh, it will show here, right? We will show the button here the quiz and then uh, when he click on the quiz it will show the quiz list because uh, one course has many quiz okay so uh, we will show that and uh, then uh, we will also show the take quiz or attempt quiz button when he click on that he can attempt the quiz right so let's start to do this so in this video we will create a first of all we will create a, some functionality some uh, not functionality some design view and then uh, later we will create the functionality okay so let's uh, open this my quiz uh, you know the my courses component right so i'll open the front end source and then uh, let's go to the component user and uh, my courses right so uh, let's open this so it has been opened in here okay so it has been opened in the vs code right so name created by and let's say quiz we will create a button quiz here right so quiz okay and now <coughs> sorry we will add a link here not this kind of link we will add this link right so let's add this link okay and uh, we will say course quiz right and in this we will pass the course id huh? and uh, here will the quiz id uh, or we can say quiz list right so we will simply say quiz list right so this will be the button so we will add a class here let's add class class name should be button button sm small and button let's say warning right so we have here quiz list okay so okay so this button will show if this course has quiz right so if this uh, 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 this button will show if it if and only if if this course is exist uh, if any quiz exist in this course right so <coughs> okay so what we will do here uh, we will add the condition right we will later add the condition so when we click on this right so this will show the list of quiz right so let's create the new page and we will say quiz course quiz list course quiz list dot js right and just we will show we will just same uh, this functionality uh, sorry this design and we will say course quiz list right and then uh, copy this and here we are okay and we, ju we will just show the uh, the same data currently let's name it uh, quiz right and the status that uh, it is attempt or not right so we will so show the status right and uh, let's add here some you know some demo data like so here we will say quiz name first of all okay and status here and we will add one more thing action okay and let's add here the quiz status let's say uh, django quiz okay and status let's say attempted right so let's say attempted or we can say uh attempt attempt or we can say take quiz take quiz is better take quiz right and then here we will add a add a action so we will say oh this is status right so status should be uh attempted or uh, we will say not uh what we uh, we should say here attempt status 
attempt status we will say uh, true or false whatever we have okay and here we will say take quiz we can do one thing uh, quiz and action so we just we don't need this thing we will just add to column and uh, we will say if it is attempted we will say attempt and if not then we will add a button take quiz huh? that will be okay I think okay so let's say take quiz okay and here we will say take quiz and this will be uh, the quiz ID I think right so let's pass here the quiz ID let's say one right so take quiz this will be quiz ID and uh, we need to we need to add this in our main component huh? so source uh, component main and here we are uh, where it is the quiz here right so this is quiz this is teacher dashboard teacher dashboard quiz system and then we will just simply user dashboard huh? or say student dashboard right so course uh, here we will say student or what we are user right the folder name is user but actually we are dealing kind of student course quiz list huh? then it is here and uh, it will go after this right so we will copy this I paste it here and we will say course quiz and here we will pass the course id and we will say course quiz list right and uh, right so here we are and when we click on this it will show the uh, we need to change the title let's change the title let's say quiz list quiz list right so this is quiz list if you want to go to the course you can go to the course if you want to see the quiz list he can see the quiz list and when he click on the take quiz then uh, it will show it will uh, now it will here uh, he, he he just want to attempt the quiz right so what i will do uh, when he click on that we will uh, create a new component in that component he can see the questions and uh, next and next and he will do right so let's uh, check that quiz we will say take quiz and this is the quiz id okay so we will say take quiz dot js right and uh, let's paste this the basic boilerplate and let's say take quiz take quiz okay and uh, we will just rename this function take quiz right and uh, we have this uh, table right so what i will do i'll just add the main component here one more this is take quiz right so let's say take quiz and this will be quiz id right and this will be we need to add here take quiz right so let's say take quiz and this will go here right and let's uh, say here take quiz okay now it's fine when we click on that it should sh it will show this uh, list okay so here we will say uh, attempt or we can say django uh, what's the quiz quiz name django quiz right so here it will show the quiz title right uh, this will be quiz title so when we click on this click on this this will be quiz title okay and in this uh, quiz title we will show the uh, question and then radio button and all the things right so this is the quiz title and uh, actually this is not a quiz title this will be yeah this is fine no problem okay so card body here we will the let's say card body let's say h3 and this will be question title right 
so this is our question title and let make it uh, small this is right and then uh, we have the table and in the table uh, we will say options and values right? so the first is uh, radio button and then we will show the uh, options right so this will be option one and this will be input type radio button input type equal to radio right and the name will be whatever the name is and the th and then th t body is fine uh, quiz title okay uh, quiz title okay let's uh, make this not a quiz title this is question title actually and uh, in this actually we should uh, make this like a uh, let's add it here let's add it here and let's make this here and before the card body we will add here a quiz title how about this huh so this will show as a question so i will say class equal to margin bottom three right and then this is question title over okay and let's say border border bottom and let's add some padding padding bottom one yeah this is fine so quiz title will be always there okay and then we have a question actually we don't need this quiz title why we are showing this maybe we should show oh no 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 need no need to show the quiz title okay so question title right so but actually uh, so that uh, it will sh if we show the quiz title it will be helpful for the user huh? let's keep it okay so question title and uh, here we will show the options and let's show the one two three four four options and then we will show another one will be our submit button right so after the question title hmm, so we don't need this after the after this we will show button button and let's say skip okay and one button is submit we have two button only one is skip and another is submit so class button button let's say oh, dark button sm right and then the second one is second one is uh, let's say primary right so we have these two buttons and for the submit margin start to pixel okay this is fine uh, let's not make it small let make it large here we are okay so when we click on this uh, it will when we skip this then it will show the second question and the second and second and all okay and uh, uh, yes and then submit it will uh, also show the things right so we will uh, apply this I, I think we have created the design now when user click on this my course he can see that uh, any quiz list if quiz list he can see that uh, take quiz or we can also show like uh, we have this python let's say python quiz right so let's say python quiz and in this we will just add a uh, uh, let's say taken okay so take quiz taken or we can say attempted right so we can add a class and let's say text success right so here we have attempted and then we can show the quiz right so this is just a design we are going to make the functionality work right so when we click on this it will go to the 
uh, we can submit the answer we can submit the uh, question or we can skip the question right so if you are submit that it will record the value if you are skipping then it will record this value as a you know none value right so yeah everything is everything else is fine so let's uh, and every question one point right so i assume that every question has a one point right so we are not making that uh, system that where teacher can add the marks or everything we are just uh, uh, show the points okay so like this uh, quiz has 40 question then he attempted the 38 right is 35 then the 30 point 35 point from 40 right so that will we can show in their section in the we can show here actually in the attempted we can show here okay so we have created the design and now we are going to implement the functionality okay so in the next video we are going to implement the functionality okay so thank you so much for watching this video and please stay tuned with the code artisan lab because i'm going to add the functionality okay so thank you so much